Thank you, thank you. What a quite an quite an introduction. Thank you so much. My name is Matthew Vince Alberto, and this has nothing to do with my act at all. I I always thought it would be funny if there was like somebody, because there is somebody in this world who was asked, "Hey, have you ever been? I've seen it on TV the other day. Oh yeah, it was such a great experience. Oh yeah, it was that show. Uh, I think it was called Addicted." Oh, uh, yes. I can explain. Oh uh, yeah, dude. I just, apparently, you have a secret life. Uh, you eat soap. <laughs> so, when are you gonna tell me about this, buddy? Uh, I don't know, man. Whenever I go into like the bathrooms, that's what, it, it had a sign that said, "Employees must wash their hands." It just got me. I was in the <laughs> it's free. You can't believe it. And it cleans your breath. It just tastes awful. I hate it. Anyway, I also would like to discuss... Actually, I'm not going to tell any spoilers about Endgame, but this got me thinking. I was watching this movie, and I lied a little. I said that I watched all the other movies, but I haven't watched any of the movies before Avengers Endgame. So I had no fucking clue what the hell was going on at all. I just knew it was a bunch of crazy superheroes all blending together to beat some purple guy up. That apparently has control of the entire universe. Like, who gave this guy permission to just control the population of the universe? Like, that's not a good idea. Anyway, it got me thinking. If those are the superheroes who did make it, there's gotta be some superheroes who didn't make the cut. Such as the timekeeper. I can tell you what time it is without looking at any watch. <laughs> oh, okay, so how does that help? I don't, I, I don't know, it saves money? <laughs> Damn it. What the hell was that? <laughs> what about the guy who could grow his ankles at an incredible rate. <laughs> what can he do with these powers? I don't know. I could trip people. <laughs> well, I guess that's a little useful. And then my personal favorite, napkin hands. <laughs> he can clean up crime at any expense. <laughs> Why? Why did this happen? <laughs> anyway, there... There was a new Avengers movie, except they weren't the Avengers, it was just those guys, and they're just called, we don't know what the hell to do with these guys, but they have some kind of power. That's a movie. Also, I want to tell you guys, I know I'm not good with transitioning comedy, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I'm terrible at it. But uh, I'm going to tell you guys this funny story of uh, a funny April Fool's prank I did to my cousin one time. Now, he didn't think it was so funny, and nor did my uncle who took my cousin to the airport. But before, I was 10 years old at the time, and he was 8 years old. But I put a giant, massive wrench inside of his book bag, and I thought this was a good, grand, grand goddamn idea. So here, my cousin is, has no idea what's about to happen, because this situation is about to unfold. He's like walking, as normal 8-year-olds do. I don't know how 8-year-olds walk, I guess I'm not R. Kelly. <laughs> Oh wait, no, that's Shaggy. Just kidding. <laughs> so, so he walks through the metal detector and all he hears, boop, boop, boop. That was excessively loud, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> and the guy's like, clear out everybody! Something's going down! <laughs> this guy obviously gets paid a lot of money. <laughs> wow, that's the like co-costs. Oh, and now everybody's panicking and everything. I'm just sitting here, wow, my whole life's about to unfold. This is awesome. So next thing you know, the guy's just like, Sir, there's something in your book bag. Because he's like freaking out because he's eight years old. Oh, it's got one on it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my life. You know, eight year olds and their temper tantrums. I don't know what it was. Anyway, the guy pulls out this, it was a massive wrench. Here's how it went down. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it was that big. <laughs> that's, how, that's why I have long arms. 
He's like, Jesus Christ, kid, what the hell are you doing with this wrench? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> How did it get in here? And of course I couldn't say something, even though that was probably the best possible option. So the next thing you know, he looks at my, uh, at my uncle, aka his dad, and the worst thing that came to my mind. Because honestly, I don't know what the worst thing that came to this guy's mind. Because it was a solo flight, my uncle wasn't going on this flight. It was just my kid, and that's why I had to do whatever, they supervise him or whatever. So they're looking at this kid like he's a terrorist. He was an eight-year-old, non-threatening kid, you know, as any eight-year-old kid is, non-threatening. I mean, I just imagine the scenario of an eight-year-old trying to hijack a plane. Hey! <laughs> hey, guys, everybody, attention. I know you're already freaked out about being 10,000 feet in the air, moving at an incredible fast rate. And even, you know, birds are laughing at us because, like, it took us so long to invent this thing and they had wings and they were born with it. But <laughs> nonetheless, give me all your candy. I have a wrench. <laughs> and it is really big. It is a really big wrench. Oh, everybody watch out. We got an eight-year-old wrench holder. Man. Not like I had a gun pointed at my face at one point in my life. So anyway, cousin got arrested, eight years old, still in, you know, he would be in GB, but they transferred him to prison. That's how that story ends. My whole family's destroyed. We're all happy. We love it. But also, also with this terrible transitioning again, I want to talk about when I was out with my coworkers the other day, and uh, it was this girl's last day, and I worked with this girl for like a couple months. And she all that ha had the audacity to ask me if I was homeless. Oh. And I'm like sitting here like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we work together. <laughs> like, what am I gonna do? Like, oh yeah, hey, uh, all right, see you guys. Nice working with you. I'm about to crawl back in that hole that I dug <laughs> with my bare hands. Hey, hey guys. Uh, oh, by the way, I don't really do comedy. I'm just doing this. I, I would like to know. Do you guys have a dollar? Anybody? I really need some money. Please. I'm homeless. Anyway, that's all for me, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs>